What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Dr. DDEV here, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. DDEV, I made you a little treat this morning in the saloon. Dig in, your friend Gus. Wow, he is up early making spaghetti. Yum. All right, <laughs> last episode, we ended with a trip to Skull Cavern and didn't have time to put things away. So we're going to fix that. I'm going to go ahead and dump my inventory, take care of my caves, my trees, my animals, my plants, and I'll see you when I'm done. Okay, I, I I am in a bit of a pickle right now. I don't have a clue where my tools are. Where the heck did I put them? I checked the mines. I checked every chest I have on the farm, except the fishing chests, although I don't know why I would have put them in here. I don't have a clue where they're at. Maybe they're over by... Oh gosh, maybe they're by Clint's? Maybe? In the chest we put outside... Here they are. I did not check this one. Okay. Holy crap. That was scary. <laughs> I couldn't for the life of me find my tools. I thought I checked that one, but I guess I didn't. Oh boy. Okay. That was uh, an unneeded start or startle. Boy. Okay. Let's grab gifts and stuff. Man, we have so much stuff to give. It's amazing. Literally all of that is used for people. And the Void Essence, the Sweet Pea, and the Grapes. Do we have high quality grapes on us anymore? No, we don't. Grapes for Vincent. Sunflowers. I'll try to grab the stuff we have more of. Poppies. Oh gosh, okay. That should be good for today. And let's grab Applejack. How many times can we go back and forth between this little threshold here? Let's find out. <laughs> anyway, I need... Well, hold on. Add another one to the list. So I'm making Iridium Bars because once we have the two that we're smelting, we'll have five and we can get our pick upgraded. And that's something I want to do for sure. Let's see, first off, can I go visit the wizard? Yes, we need to visit the wizard and I want to stop by Marnie's as well. There's a couple pit stops I want to make today. Marnie's, Pierre's, Clint's, and the museum. At least that's all I can think of. I'm sure there's more. And I do want to expand this out today or tomorrow, but I want to do it this episode, preferably today. I don't have too many plans for what we're going to be doing today, but that is among them. Ooh. Don't tell me this is for me. Please tell me this is for the kids. Oh, D-Dub, it's perfect timing that you showed up. Huh? I brought the children on a little field trip into the countryside. You know all about life in the country, right? Uh-huh. So I was thinking, could you be my guest speaker today? <laughs> I'd love to. Great. Gotta influence the youth. Let me just call the children over. Yoo-hoo! Kiddos! <laughs> Jess, Vincent, may I have your attention, please? <gasps> Much excited. I have a very special guest here to talk to you today. Our very own local farmer, D-Dub. He has first-hand experience living in the countryside, so he knows all about the valley's natural resources. Do they care at all? Can anyone tell me what a natural resource is? Ooh, ooh, pick me, pick me, pick me. Jess? A natural resource is a material source of wealth that occurs in a natural state and has economic value. Very good. That's worth two star points, Jazz. Yes! Vincent's like, I want star points too. <laughs> okay, now let's give our give D Dub our full attention. Country life is all about gathering from the wild or about farming. Ooh. This is more well, farming. We do we do way more of that. The valley's soil is ideal for growing delicious vegetables. The valley's air and grass are perfect for raising animals. I don't know what this has an effect on, but... Or if anything. Yes, Vincent? I read that before she said that. That's crazy. <laughs> Farmer D-Dub, can I put a saddle on one of your cows and ride it into town? I want to be a real cowboy. <laughs> Vincent, behave yourself. Mr. D-Dub makes his living working on the farm. It's not a playground. 
<laughs> Although that would be fun. I can't say I haven't thought about that. Well, that's probably enough for today. You two run along and play. Yeah! That'd be so much fun. Are they going to push each other off? Please don't. It's a lot of work to take care of these kids. But I don't really mind. I enjoy seeing them learn. And hopefully I can help them grow up to be good people. That's always the goal, right? Would you ever want to be a parent, d -dub? I haven't really thought about it. Absolutely. I guess so. It's a natural urge. No, I don't think you'd be good at it. The world's crowded enough already. No, I want to be... No, I don't want to be tied down with a family. Absolutely. I wish there was like a absolutely and I just left it at that. I don't necessarily want a big family, but do I want a family? Absolutely. Me too. I'm glad you feel that way. Don't tell Leah. So many of these cutscenes we're getting for all the all the single ladies that want to not be single ladies anymore. And that's not okay, because we're married to Leah. Well, I'm glad you showed up, D-Dub. I think the kids had a great time. I hope so. I hope they did. And it's only 11.20. So much productive stuff going on. I also want to keep my eyes out for another hazelnut. Because if we can get a third hazelnut, I'm pretty sure we can craft roasted hazelnut or by craft i mean cook roasted hazelnut also my goodness this is a complete mess okay that's much better cool a crazy unorganized inventory it's it just bothers me so much i don't know why but it does whoa i was married long ago after my wife and i split she began flying around the countryside cursing everything she saw it's not a very mature way to express one's anger <laughs> <laughs> that is so true. Also, as you can see here, I did not take care of my crops this morning because I didn't have a scythe to cut down the wheat and I wanted to do it all in one fell soup. So I still need to do that. And we have so many trees. It's so nice. If we ever need wood, we'll be set. But all right, I want to stop by Marnie's real quick. I mentioned, I think it was last episode, I wanted to check and see... If there was any new dialogue with Shane, now that he's unemployed, I'll definitely be going to the saloon tonight. What else is there to do? Oh, crap. Is he back to being a... a drunk? Well, at least he's max on hearts. That's all that really matters. I feel bad saying that, but... <laughs> I wonder if Mr. Lewis gets lonely in that big house of his. Wow, I totally tripped up on my words there. It seems so empty in there, doesn't it? Why don't you go pay him a visit, Marnie, and fix that, huh? Okay, is there anything we need? We're gonna have to buy a lot of hay at some point. Like, it's gonna be bad. Do these stack? They do not. I wanna get a couple of these and decorate some more around the farm while it's still grassy. I don't wanna wait till winter to do that because then you don't really get a feel for what the farm's gonna look like because everything looks dead. And that's not really the way I want it to look, but... Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, also, I don't know why I'm bringing this up right now, but once our greenhouse is free of stuff that's in our way, at least, and we can replant everything, I want to focus on... Do we have a complete brick or no? No, we don't have anything for Lewis. That's fine. I don't even know if we can give him stuff. But, yes, we can. The ingredient may be secret, but the smell isn't. Anyway, I want to focus on planting the ingredients. Harvey, what? You lazy doctor, where are you? If I could finish that thought, I want to focus on planting the ingredients for a complete breakfast. Or, yeah, or I was going to say or a salmon dinner, but you can't plant salmon. So, so we're not going to plant salmon. Oh, there's Harvey. Hello. Do you like fried eggs? You do. We need coffee and pumpkins for him, I believe. So if we get coffee, we'll give him coffee. If we get pumpkins, we'll give him pumpkins. Okay, I need to keep checking to see if we need to give gifts to people or not. No, not to Jody. We're good. Pierre, though, I think we do. Not that, that is a, not that it's a huge deal. My goodness. All right, we need to get some grass starter. I don't know how much... 
probably not more than like 20 or so. That should be way more than we need. And then at some point, we need to go to the quarry and cut all that grass because it's it's not growing. It's it's just not. Ooh, and Abigail, we have something for you. Amethyst. Yes, I seriously love this. You're the best. You are welcome. Enjoy. It matches your hair. All right, before it gets too late, let's head back to the farm real quick, see if our iridium bars are ready. And then if they are, I want to head down to Clint by four o'clock so we can get that pickaxe going. That'll be my first iridium tool ever. Minus the iridium fishing rod, which you can just purchase. And heck yes, it's happening. Today is the day. Well, technically two days from today is the day that we will get ourselves our first earned, not purchased, iridium tool. And I'm so excited for it. It's it's going to be nice. It's going to be so nice. All right, let's head over to Clint and get that going. We also have, what is it, geodes to break down in the hopes that we'll get iridium. This is a, a great time to take advantage of the chest we put right outside Clint's because, my goodness, our inventory is not going to be able to handle what comes out of all these geodes. We have t Clint? Clint, are you closed on Fridays? Is that really a thing? Is there any sign outside letting me know otherwise? Well, dang it. Okay, whatever. How are we doing with these three? All right, Vincent and Jess still need some work, but Penny is good. I think that was probably her eight heart event. The the picnic slash educational guest speaker session. Oh, hello, Caroline. I've got a summer spangle for you. If you'll have it. <gasps> You're giving this to me? I'm speechless. Oh, and today's Elliot's birthday as well. We need to head over. <laughs> she keeps saying finally a little time to myself every time I talk to her. Makes me feel really bothersome okay not that this one legendary fish the, the fall one angler fish this was spotted in the fall north of town where the river flows down from the mountains ah so that's like north of the bridge over to former jojo mart we're gonna try for that not today but maybe maybe tomorrow i'm not sure depends on depends on our luck maybe also, I see them. I want them. Come here. Come here, shinies. Get in my pan. If I can get there in time. Yeah, iridium. Come on, iridium, iridium, iridium. Oh, It's just copper. That's okay. All right, we need to get back to the farm and finish a couple farm things. And say hi to people on the way, because cause we can. And we need to. Evelyn, and it's Friday, so I need to really focus on that. Evelyn likes tulips. <gasps> it's marvelous. You've been an old lady. Very happy. And is George inside? Ooh, he is. I just can't reach it. If only I could get up from this infernal chair. I'll help you, George. That's got to be so frustrating, though. Yeah, it's like, I got it for you, but he wants to be able to help himself. Thanks, young man. You're welcome. <sighs> it happened 30 years ago. I was working in the coal mines. We were near the end of our shift, but there was one last seam that needed to be broken up. I went in there aiming to set off a stick of dynamite, but my foot slipped into a crack and I dropped it. The dynamite exploded on impact. I had no idea. The next thing I remember, I was lying in the hospital and they told me I'd never walk again. Wow. So there you have it. You probably figured I was just too old to walk. Well, I'll have you know that I'd be sprier than a spring chicken if I hadn't been in that accident. Yeah, I thought it was just old age. You've been very nice to me, young man. I appreciate that. When you're old, you start to forget that anyone cares about you. I'm glad I could help you remember that, George. 
And to reinforce my point and really hammer it in, here's a leak. Your favorite thing. <laughs> my grandpa was a farmer. It's a respectable profession. If I wasn't so darned old, I'd come to your farm to show you a thing or two. You totally could. I would welcome the pointers. All right, it's getting close to five. We might stop by the saloon first and chat with everyone there. Doing a ton of sit-ups tonight. How are those sit-ups coming? <laughs> if you, you're, blah, 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 blah. you have to work really hard if you want to achieve your maximum potential. Oh, my words today, guys. They're just not, they're not with me. Looks like a decent day for fishing, doesn't it? Me first, Pierre. Me first. Okay, we've already talked to most people. This is just going to be repeat dialogue with these two here. Oh, I'm going to spend some time tonight and see who we need to give gifts to. For tomorrow, before Saturday, which is our last day, I believe, before the weekly gifts reset. But we're going to take advantage of Friday night bar time and say hello to the people of the town. <laughs> that clean air. I just fear that the Jojikos of the world will take this away from us. Well, we shut one of them down, so... Hopefully no more clean air pollution. Clean air pollution? Probably just air pollution. Oh, and we need to say hi to Elliot too. We should probably do that before like seven when he most likely goes away. Do you like gold bars, Clint? I don't know. And we won't find out today. So many people to talk to. Oh gosh, can we get to Marnie? Wait, we've already talked to Marnie. Just kidding. I take it all back. All right, let's go visit Elliot. Hopefully he's still down here and hasn't gone to bed yet. Although we're good enough friends, we should hopefully be able to enter anyway. Maybe. It's locked. Don't tell me we missed him. Dang. I need to make that like priority number one and not wait till the end of the day. Is that new? No. Just so we can make sure we hit these, these relationship goals. Oh, Elliot, please be somewhere else and have not come home yet. Please. Oh my gosh, this is going to fill up every last spot. Luckily, they're all iridium quality, so it'll all stack nice and neat. Perfect. And that's a full inventory. Elliot, where are you? Does he hang out in the woods, maybe? And is on his way back over? Or is he down anywhere else on the beach? On the piers, maybe? No. No Elliot there. Oh, boy. We're going to try to find him in the woods. And hope that he's here somewhere, just hanging out, pondering his thoughts, working on his novel. But I really doubt it. That's okay, though. We still have chicken coop things to take care of. Yeah, I don't think he's here. Chicken coop things to take care of, or I guess the animal pen to take care of, and our crops. So let me go ahead and do the crops real quick, and then I'll meet you guys back down here, and we'll work on expanding out our animal pen. All right. We've made a little bit of blueberry jelly, which will then translate into making us a little bit of blueberry money, which I like. All right, we need to grab some hardwood before we continue with this. I totally forgot about that. I'll be right back. Okay, so we need to make some hardwood fences. I don't know how many. We'll start with like 20 and just work our way from there. But I wanna expand this out and we're just gonna basically take it down ever so slightly. Three, four. I wanna make sure there's still room to walk at the bottom. So we have to come here and then, and then bleh, and then go up one. Maybe I won't do that. Maybe we'll still cut through. That's probably going to be for the best. Unfortunately, all these trees, they got to go. This is in the way of potential grass, and that is a priority for us right now. So let me go ahead and get all this cleared. Okay, well, it's cleared, but it's also 1.10 in the morning, so we should probably go to bed which I'm going to do right now. Okay, we'll finish that tomorrow. I just don't have the time right now. I don't even have the time to water the 
get the cactus fruit. <laughs> We're cutting it that close. We'll finish the pen first thing in the morning when we take care of our animals. We'll do my normal routine and then go back down for that. But you can see I sold some some minerals. The diamonds are worth quite a bit, as you would expect. <laughs> and farming, what did we sell that was worth? So yeah, the blueberry jelly. Dang, that's not bad. I went ahead and refilled the preserve jars that were filled with blueberries prior and filled it with a bunch of random stuff, like super random, just to get rid of uh, items in that one chest. I keep saying we need to empty. And so we're slowly but surely working on that. And hello, little baby Charlie. You're so cute. I like it when he's not sleeping. He's just all dancing in his crib. It's hilarious. Cloudy tomorrow. And what's our luck like today? Not that it matters too much. There's some water noise. That's okay. <gasps> Ooh. Would you look at this? It's done. Whoa. It comes pre-filled with stuff? Can we now learn to... We can. Use in the cellar to age products like wine and cheese. Okay. Cool. We're gonna start saving our wine and stuff and putting it down there. It takes forever to age, I'm pretty sure, but it's basically just delaying your profits, but pretty much doubling them as well, so. Hi, D-Dub, guess what? My band is playing a show tonight in Zuzu City. Meet me at the bus stop around four this afternoon to leave for the show. You better be there. What? Cool. I'll be there. That sounds awesome. Hi, how are you doing? I hope you enjoy the gift I've sent you. Well, goodbye. That's one of her favorite gifts too. That's kind of funny. I could turn right around and give her that. <laughs> Wanted one fresh lobster for a marvelous bisque I'm creating. Who? Gus, proprietor of the Star Drop Saloon. 800 gold? Do we have lobster? If I grab that now, maybe I won't forget it. I'm pretty sure we have a lobster. I also... Actually, isn't there one? I think we have one in a lobster pot. No, that's a crayfish. We don't have a lobster. Huh. I know that comes out of... Yeah, we don't have a lobster. I know that comes out of... Crab pots, but... We don't have a lot of crab pots nor are we restocking the crab pots we do have and that's on me but look at how much stuff we can make it's so nice having the resources to do things i love it so 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 much but okay you guys know the drill i'll meet you in a sec once the things have been tended to okay just kidding brief interruption i bring you this breaking news Things are harvestable. Our yams, our ancient fruit, and we're just waiting on these pumpkins, I think they are, up here. Book, coffee, coffee beans. Now we can start making coffee and giving it to Harvey and also planting it. One, two, right here. Oh, this is exciting. So exciting. And I'm going to make all of it into coffee, I think. And just use it for gift purposes. And for movement purposes. We can start drinking this stuff. That's kind of why I wanted it. It makes it go fast. And it's really nice. Okay. Cool. Never mind. Back, back to the crops. As you can see, our chickens don't even have any food. So we're picking a good day to do this. Because I think they're going to go hungry if we don't. Which is not okay. So I do kind of want to leave a spot on the underside of this. I I think I do. I might not. I might just run this straight across, which will technically block off this. And I think I'm going to actually go ahead and do that. I think it's going to look nicer than what we would otherwise be doing. But this is going to take a little bit. Oh, we're actually almost there. We're one short. For a complete guess, that's not too bad. I want to expand this out now, though. Chickens, run free! And I think I would just want to leave it like that. It gives them a little bit of extra space. Ooh, and our pigs finding truffles on the other side of the fence. Interesting. So that gives our chickens quite a bit more room. And now we can also plant some grass starter down. And get them happy. We need to keep 
some more of this going as well for these guys. They keep eating all of it. And that's not cool. <laughs> oh, let's close that back up. There we go. This is going to be nice, though. I feel like that's a, a good amount more space. Honestly, I probably should have placed it underneath every single piece that I placed down. That might have been the smarter thing to do. I also now feel like I need another gate. Because I don't want to go all the way back up there. So I'll make a gate... Right here. I think that's a good spot. So now we can get through at multiple places. I'm not going to add... Or am I? I don't know. I may or may not come back and add... A cobblestone path later. But... That's okay. Basically my process. I don't really ever show this. Ooh, would you look at that? <laughs> that works nicely. We can grab three more milk. Cool. I come in here. I take care of... Uh, actually, there's nothing to take care of. I just grab three items from here and put them in here. And then I usually come out and sell these. But now that we have those casks, we can start aging some of this stuff. And let's see if any of these hay bales would look good. I wanted to put a couple more around here. I don't quite know where. But just in a couple places to make it feel a little bit more alive. Lived in, you know? Maybe one like down here in the corner. I don't know. Just give it a little bit more color. I think that looks nice. Actually, we'll grab this one up real quick. I want to put this somewhere else. I got a spot for it in mind. All right, we got till 4 p.m. to do things. That's really cutting our day a lot shorter. But there are a couple people we need to give gifts to. One of which is Elliot, so I'm going to make an effort to go find him real quick. But let me go ahead and drop off all this stuff while we're here. It's not a ton, but I'm going to sell all this. We can start aging some of this. And this can be sold as well. I like to keep my my inventory somewhat organized as I go through the day. I feel like you guys have probably picked up on that by now. But I'm calling attention to it just in case you hadn't. All right. So we can start aging this. I know wine is what you're supposed to age, quote unquote, down here. But we've got cheese right now. We don't have wine. And it ups the quality, I think. So if I put it in at gold, it'll take a little bit. But eventually, there'll be iridium quality. It slowly ups the quality to iridium, I believe. And I think you can pull it back out at any moment. And it'll be the quality that's on the barrel. But if you wait until it's iridium, it'll show up above, above it. Like it's ready to be harvested, just like all other items do. I think that's how it works. This is my first time ever playing with casks, so... Fun with casks with Dr. Dito. All right, anyway, this hay bale, I want to go right there. So he can have some, some hay to nibble on. And that's also why we did the little hay floor, or straw floor, I guess is what it's called. All right, we're on the hunt for an Elliot right now. We also need to go by, oh gosh, I totally didn't even remember to do that. I have a feeling we have a little bit of wiggle room with Sam, but I don't want to really risk it. So if we miss Elliot today, that's fine. I'm hoping he's in the museum or Pierre's. Those are the two places I think I'll have time to check. Let's actually start with that. Please be here. Yes. Okay. So we can do this. We can hit up Clint. Thank you. It's wonderful. I know. I know. Okay. 310. We got 50 minutes to get to the bus stop. We're making no more pit stops. Minus this one. <laughs> Hi, Clint. You're going to upgrade us? Actually, no. You're going to process geodes first. Because I don't think he can upgrade once you've... Or, other way around. I don't think he can process geodes while he's upgrading something for you. I could be wrong, but... And I hope we don't need any inventory space for Sam's concert. I feel like that's just going to be a cutscene. That looks like fossilized poop. Mudstone. <laughs> that looks like dung. Not going to lie. Okay, let's see what we get out of the rest of these. Okay. That's not too bad. Are any of these new? I don't think so. Ooh. Nico White is new. Is that the only one? Have we had this before? Ghost Crystal? I don't remember that one. Okay, I know we said we weren't going to make any more pit stops. But the museum's right here and we're so close and Sam's not that far away. So we're going to... 
Ah! <laughs> the distraction's real, guys. Okay. That's one more thing. We're slowly getting there. Okay. Sam. I'm coming, bud. I'm coming. Okay. We made it. <laughs> I came here right as it hit four. And this is awesome. Everyone's going. Hi, d -Dev. Thanks for coming. No problem, Sam. This looks cool. Well, our gear's loaded already. Looks like everything's set. Wait, is this the band? Or is Abigail a groupie? Because I know Sam's the guitarist, right? Sebastian's the, the keyboardist, I believe. And they said they were looking for a drummer. I wonder if they found a drummer. Or if they know that I'm a drummer, actually. Because I actually do have a, a background in, in drumming. I, I could fill in, guys. Ooh. I'm starting to get really nervous. <laughs> oh, we're here. We're here. Okay, here we are. Wish me luck. Okay, this is cool. Is a Abigail's their drummer? Okay, cool. Welcome to the pit, everyone. <laughs> Hi, everyone. We're from... Pelican Town, or er, we're called Xenon Chip 3.0. Interesting name. This song's about farming, mining, and chopping wood. Okay. Solid synth intro. Ooh. Abigail laying down the beat. <laughs> Look at everyone dancing. I saw the dialogue bubble on Leah. I was like, can I move around during this? I can't. This is awesome. Look at the people with the crazy hair. That's so cool. And the mohawk. Why can't we have these hairstyles? That's so cool. We can line this over in the trash. And there's a bouncer too. Oh, that was cool. Wow, those electronic sounds were far out. Nice work, guys. I really enjoyed that bass part. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. But you should really be clapping for D-Dub. Without his help, we'd never have decided what kind of music to make in the first place. Does that mean this cutscene has different songs depending on what type of music you told them they should play? That's really cool. So you're like an honorary member of the band then? <laughs> Kinda? Oh, and don't forget to pick up one of our demo cassettes on the way out. Only 10 gold. I will totally buy one of those. If I have the option, which it does not appear that I do. That went well. Thanks again for coming with us. Yeah, that was really cool. Oh, and it's 4 p.m. We still have our whole day. Awesome. Okay, there was someone else I needed to stop by. Basically, I'm looking at anyone who's not max on hearts and who can still accept a gift. Harvey. Okay. Harvey, we need to find you. And give you something. And we'll soon have coffee for him too. Which is really exciting. A sea cucumber for Kent. He's definitely someone we need to work on as well. Harvey, are you inside here? No, not right now. I don't know where Harvey hangs out. Or if he hangs out. What does he do in his downtime? I know sometimes he's over here doing something. No, not today. I don't have a clue where Harvey hangs out. Anyway, let's go grab that sea cucumber for Kent, I guess. And say hi to Haley real quick. Hello. What do you think I should do today? Stop being a selfish crybaby. <laughs> Watercolor painting? I don't think she's that crafty. Relax and read a magazine. That sounds much more her speed. Hmm, that's a pretty good idea, actually. You know, you're welcome, Haley. Anytime I can encourage laziness and enable 
your bad habits. I probably will. Pam, you calling it a day? Looks like it. Did it need a super cucumber or a cucumber? A sea cucumber, the regular kind. Okay. I think we can make that happen. Oh! And with the rest of our day, we might go try to catch a legendary fish. I gotta clean this up, too. I totally forgot about that. Let's grab ourselves a sea cucumber, clean up our inventory, and I'll meet you guys in just a sec. And I'm thinking we're gonna go try to catch that legendary fish. We got some time to kill, so I'll see you in a sec. All right, I wanted to come in and grab, I don't know if we even have any, I think we do, something that gives us plus three fishing. There we go. We should hopefully only need one of those, I hope. And then we need to make ourselves a trap bobber, which is my favorite bobber to use for all these copper bar and sap. We should hopefully be able to catch it in one, but just in case, I'll make two. And what? I don't even remember how much sap it was, so we'll just grab a stack and make it real quick. Two of those. Perfect. Also, I'm a total, total scrub and forgot to upgrade our pick. Oops. I, I totally meant to. Trust me, I just forgot. It happens. It happens a lot, actually. <laughs> we'll get that next episode, though. Unless I forget next episode as well. But otherwise, we'll have it. At least we'll start it next episode. I wish I was better about remembering all these things, guys. I'm really sorry. I wanted it today, but again, I forget things at times. I'm so glad you're trying to improve your farm. Once you've got everything in order, it's going to add a lot to our community. Are you saying you don't think it's in order yet? I think it's coming out pretty nicely. But apparently, Jody has different opinions. Whatever. All right, maybe Kent's at the saloon. I know he spent some time there. Can we give you our super cucumber? Sea cucumber. There we go. Hey, you brought the item I asked for. Thanks so much. Here's a little something for your trouble. Thanks. Also, there's something. What's that other one? Lobster. We should probably restock the crab pots at the beach. Eh. Yeah, we'll do that real quick. Okay. It's time to hunt ourselves our final legendary fish. And I'm hoping this isn't a bad idea, trying to start it this late at night. It says it comes out of the river north of town. This is that river. So I'm just going to try to go, like, as north as possible, I guess. I don't know if that's where I need to be, or if it's just somewhere in this river. But this is as far north. And I feel like I'm going to cast across the river if I stand here. So let's try doing a max cast from here. Yeah, that looks like it'll be perfect. I know I need to put the trap bobber and eat the fish stew. And I'll do that after I catch a fish. Or at least get a nibble. If I ever get a nibble. Maybe. Maybe. There we go. Okay, yeah. This isn't it. Let me go ahead and down the fish stew. And put the bobber on. What is this? I think it's a bream. We're standing so high. Oh, and that's perfect. Our fishing tackle wore off. Ah, we didn't have our bait on either. Okay. That explains a lot. Okay. Bottoms up. How long does that last? 16 minutes. Almost 17 minutes. We should be more than fine. Let's see if we will be fine. Okay, well, we found the legendary fish. Although this one's incredibly easy to catch. Like, holy crap. That was a joke. <laughs> angler. The angler fish is what it was listed as in the book. Uses a bioluminescent dangler to attract prey. Cool. That's going on our wall of fame. And we're just going to sell all this stuff. Including the dried starfish, because I'm tired of getting all those extra ornaments and stuff that... Not ornaments. Why did I just call it an ornament? Artifacts that don't really have a purpose. So I'm going to sell it for the one gold that we may or may not get from it. Oh man, I'm really beating myself up over not getting that pick. 
Also, I feel like I should be much more excited about having caught all the legendary fish, but that was an easy last one to catch. I feel like they should make the glacier fish the hardest one to catch because you probably wouldn't be getting it until year two, and so that would be like the last thing you did. Plus, a lot of people usually have downtime in winter and do a lot of fishing, so that would work anyway. I don't know. It just makes sense to me. We'll sell all those, and we'll put this guy on our wall of fame. That's so cool looking. I'm actually almost, and I'm saying this because I sold it, but I'm almost kind of glad we lost um, the corrupted, or whatever it was called, the carp thing. I did not just mean to run a circle around that. I just wanted to stash this bobber. Okay. Is that is that all we need to do for the day? I think it is. I think it is. We made some minor cosmetic improvements today. I think they were good. Ooh, and our casks. This is going to be a, a chore remembering to check these things. But I need to fill them. And I'm glad it comes pre-filled with casks. And we can add more. And I think I'm going to. But... Again, not going for the optimum use, but just something that looks kind of nice. Oh, man. That was productive. I think. I feel like I feel like that was a good, good episode. <laughs> you guys will have to let me know. All right, not a ton of money, but that's okay. Our money making will really come into play once those casks start producing. And once we add more kegs and preserve jars, we still have some spots for a few of those as well. <sighs> Alright though, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one though. And until then, as always, take care. <laughs>